drug overdose epidemic isn't just on the street, but also in our jails. Case in point, Rikers Island, New York City. It turned out to be the deadliest year for overdoses at Rikers in a decade, in no small part because of fentanyl. And the big question, how are the daily deadly drugs even getting into the jail? Here's several on your side's investigative reporter, Dan Crowell. 19 deaths reported in the jail alone last year. We know at least three of those were fentanyl related. A new synthetic and addictive opioid where even a small amount can be deadly. We found it's getting in past the barbed wire fences in three ways, starting with the mailbox. Mixed in with the birthday cards, I miss you notes and holiday greetings was this, a children's Christmas drawing laced with fentanyl. Here's another, and I love you letter to an inmate on a plain piece of paper that tested positive. Even this, a Stephen King novel. The pages were soaked in fentanyl. Inmates rip off pieces of the paper and sell this to other inmates, where it's either chewed up or smoked to get high. Correction officers say it has been misery trying to figure out a way to stop it. Books are for reading not for lacing with fentanyl. At a recent city hearing, the Department of Correction Commissioner Luis Molina said most of the drugs are being mailed into the facility. We are exploring all available measures to keep fentanyl and other drugs out of our facilities. He spoke in front of a criminal justice committee chaired by Carlina Rivera. He said something like there were 400 instances and he said, well, where's the data? She believes the city's not doing enough to stop it. We have to do something. This is a humanitarian crisis that is happening right here in New York City. In addition to the mail, people visiting inmates are also bringing it in. 56 people have been caught last year, along with two correction officers. We have zero tolerance for anyone who brings contraband into our jails. The jail's possible solution, hire a company to electronically scan all of the mail, and inmates can view that mail on an electronic tablet like this. You're still waiting on data on specific cases, and you do have concerns about the tablets. We want to make sure that, one, it's accessible and affordable, and two, that we're not removing one of, I think, the most human elements, that is tangible mail that comes in from your family members. She wants a universal policy for physically scanning everyone who enters the jail, saying the overdose situation is just one of many problems that have to be fixed quickly inside the complex. It's absolutely a, a case of mismanagement. What we really want to see is a plan going forward. The commissioner says this isn't a problem unique to New York City, but jails across the country. They're training all correction officers on how to use Narcan, the drug that can help reverse an overdose, by this summer.